Hi, Fabiana, Andy. Hello, Vivian. Nice, thank you so much. Hi, Eva. Hey, Jan, from South Australia. How are you doing? I wonder how is South Australia? Are you also a guide on Hey Go, Jan? Hello, where are you talking from? Besides South Australia here, we have an Australian present, Jan, here present on our room today. And Eva is here. From which paradise do you come from? Hi, Vivian. We are here in Brazil, Salvador. Ah, cool, Jan. So we have here an, a textile artisan, even from Ireland. Hey, Andy from Sydney. So Australia is present here. That's amazing. What time is that in Australia? I, I was here wondering, saying, wow, I think it's very early in Australia. So I don't know if there will be people from there. Então temos aqui australianos e tem uma artista de, de, te, de tecelã aqui. Yeah, I'm here talking with the artist who is waiting to, is already starting her embroidery here. 10 p.m. Oh, good. It's a good time. Vivian from Kenya. Yoo-hoo. Hello, Vivian. Tem gente do Kenya. Sul da Austrália. She's very excited. Sofia is here. And she's concentrating. She's so excited with this opportunity of showing her art here to the world today. My name is Kelly Tavares, and I am a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, but I'm actually now traveling to another state, one of my favorite states, to meet different guides. I was here traveling and meeting my daughter in uh, the city of Itacareia, and I ran tours showing these local guides and also showing the art, landscapes, culture of the different places where I go. Now I start, I'm an art teacher and I started this artist series. In Rio de Janeiro, I run tours in art museums, street art, cultural centers, and cultural tours. Also Black History walks that I run as a local uh, guide running walking tours in the city. And I really love to follow the creative processes of art. So what will bring uh, the motivations of creative processes in a world that will be all the time pushing ourselves to a mass production lifestyle and how artists will position themselves to resist in their own individual time that is required in a balance, in a dialogue with the media that they work with which each of a kind will require a time and a process that will be needed in order to get to the final work. So how does this entail uh, a way of position itself in the world and as, a, as an individual, and as an individual that resists the trends and the pressures of the time, despite of anything, in order to bring to us the wealth of the creative minds. Thank you, Kivian and Ri, for joining our tour. My name is Kelly Tavares. We are starting now, and we will visit and see the work of Sofia, who is an embroidery art, and her life model to create her art pieces. We are here in Salvador, and where are you talking from, Kavia and Re? We have people here present from Kenya, from Australia, Australia, from Ireland. And what about you, Kavia and Re? Please share your places. Pennsylvania, U.S., United States. Cool. Sophia is here by my side on her balcony, and I will introduce you to her. 
and, be, and switch the camera to first introduce you to where she lives and what she does. So then you meet Sophia, you see her uh, sewing. How do I use this verb? She does embroidery. So you see her embroidering, which is the, what is the verb that I should use? Please help me out to improve my English. And I will wait for you to help me out here. She will be embroidering, I think, or is teaching. I think she will be embroidering, right? And today we are in Salvador. Salvador is on a embroider, could be a verb. Ah, all right. So she will be embroidering. Thank you, Re, so much. Ah, okay. Also, it's teaching and sewing with her own hands. It's a handcrafted embroidery that she will be working with. And today the temperature is about the 77 Fahrenheit and 20, 28 centigrade. No, no, 26 centigrade around that. And it's raining. So I will show you the landscape from her balcony and her art. Let's go. Uh, the proceeds, one thing that is important, so you know, uh, on Hey Go, we pay as you go in the sense that you will have opportunity to support the work of local artists and local guides. I'm a professional tour guide in Rio de Janeiro and running tours in the southeast of Brazil, right here, Rio de Janeiro. This is the the tours where I run the tours for the most part throughout the year. But I did a long journey all the way to Ilhéus and Itacaré in the Cocoa Coast where I ran the tours. And now I am here in Salvador. Just to give you an idea, from Rio to Ilhéus, it was a two-hour flight and I had to go to Sao Paulo here to Guarulhos Airport to go to Ilhéus, Rio, Sao Paulo, Ilhéus. And I took a bus, so it took me nine hours to get to Ilhéus and meet my daughter in the tropical beach town there. Now I am in Salvador and I met Sayuri Koshima, a local tour guide here, and I've been showing the culture around here, but mostly now with the artists in Brazil, South America. So if you do want to support the artists, today all the proceeds of your donations will go to Sofia. So please, if you really like the work that we will be sharing and if you can contribute, this is an opportunity for you to do so. Also, remember to follow me at Rio and Campus on social media. On Instagram and Facebook, Rio and Cantos Experiences, if you, you want to get to know more about my work in Brazil. I work with tourism, uh, responsible tourism. And here we are sharing the house of the artist Sofia. Her Instagram is Ora Filo Ora Sofia, which means uh, in Portuguese. It's Ora Filo from Philosophy and Sophia from her name. Here are a few works that she did and some of her inspirations herself. So he takes these works from various inspirations and she is a Zen lady. She really likes the to search for her spiritual life and uh, embroidering is a meditative way for her as well to position herself. So here is written. Todo dia é dia e tudo em nome do amor. Every day is day and everything in the name of love. Ah, this is the life I wanted. Essa é a vida que eu quis from composer Cazuza, and later we can play a song from Cazuza, so you can have an inspiration for his song. Manuel de Barros is a poet, a Brazilian poet, which is also one of the inspirations to the work of artist Sofia, and he is a 
uh, songs for uh, a, a, a bird which is flying uh, as just flying for fun. Dream. Now, soon I will show more of her works here. But now I will show a little bit of the house of this artist and later one of the secret guests that we will, will visit, we will meet today. I am hosted here with Sofia and this is the place where I'm staying in Salvador. If you go to the tours with Sayuri Koshima to Olinda, to, to uh, the Pelourinho, you learn a lot about the Afro-Brazilian culture, about Brazilian culture in the touristic part of town. And the city of Salvador is really, really big. So if you look there on the back, you see this division on the landscape between the big city of Salvador with all the skyscrapers, and a cidade histórica está para aquele lado, para lá também, né? And on the same direction there, where the buildings are, you also have the historic old town with amazing historic churches and where Sayuri Koshima runs her tours on Hegel. Today she will run tours and also have a sunset tour and also every week she runs tours there. Now, this building here is very iconic because it makes a division of this landscape, showing you the busy city center of Salvador, which is a big city in Brazil, with 80% of its population being of African descent. And this building here from the condo apartments that have been growing throughout the country in Brazil, in the peripheries and also in the wealthy areas. In Salvador, in front of us, there is a favela. Have you heard about a favela before? Hi, Rochelle. Thank you for joining. This is great to be here, to see you around. Hello. Where are you, where are you now at this moment? In which part of the world and city are you there? Philadelphia? Uh, Philippines. Oh, great. You're in Philippines now, Rochelle. Nice. Thank you so much. Uh, let me switch the camera. Rochelle is a friend of mine. Great, great friend. We studied together. And yay, that's great to see you. And here, the favela. Uh, of Saramandaia and we have a view of the favela and here in Saramandaia favela so you have different favelas spread throughout the cities in big cities in Brazil smaller cities as well and here is not different so you have among the peripheries but also in the wealthy areas of big towns you will find favelas where the majority of the workers will be building up their houses irregularly but because the house the government doesn't really give conditions for social housing to social housing projects to move forward so then the workers they come from rural areas from different parts of the country to the big cities that you see there on the other side seeking for better world conditions or well, since uh, salvador also has a very important university the federal university of bahia the ufba many people come from the interior in order to have their graduation or their undergraduation in uh, fields in a big university important university and to to be uh to have a to learn things in the smaller cities where they don't usually have that opportunity. Now, that's the case also of our artist and host, Sophia, with whom I'm going to share and introduce you to now. <laughs> Here we are. Hi. Hello, Sophia. Thank you so much, Sophia. <laughs> 
for uh, receiving me, for sharing your home, not only with me, but also with all the people there around. Thank you, Jen, so much. So this is beautiful and brave Sophia. I introduce you to her. Sophia is a great artist. She's spreading love and peace to people all, all around the world uh, through here and locally as well. And she wants to share her art to everyone. On her Instagram, she spreads her art throughout Brazil, sending her works to people who support her art. And here she is creating right now. Sofia, é, she doesn't speak English, but I'm going to help out. É, você gostaria de falar já alguma coisa de introdução? Sim. Uh... Let me switch the side of the camera. Acho que gostaria de mostrar... She would like to show you some pieces of her. Uh, alguns seres que, que eu me inspiro nas plantas que eu vejo pelo jardim. So she's showing one of the creatures that she sees in the plants in the gardens. Because here where she lives in this condo apartment, she has a lush scenery around her, which is this briefing part of the big city. And she sees in each flowers that she finds the creatures and the spirits which inhabits on them in them e é interessante Sophie, que eu já mostrei isso em outros tours eu falo das, das, dos seres que habitam nas plantas Sim. de Osain so in other for those of you who had taken tours with me in, in Rio de Janeiro eh, you know that I acknowledge the spirits and the creatures who live inside of each plant And also Sofia, she also acknowledges them. Estou dizendo que você nos valoriza, nos vê. Sim. Vários seres, né? Que moram dentro dos seres. E... All the spiritual beings and also the beings itself, in which each creature in Earth represents these lives. So she likes to acknowledge that and sometimes she will bring this life to her art. E que é um representar esses seres através do bordado também é uma forma de valorizar a existência deles. So representing these beings uh, through embroidery is a way to value their existence in, in the world, especially in the moments in which we are living with so much devastation and uh, the the impact over nature. Sim, e porque a gente também Olha muito para tela e olha muito para coisas virtuais, imagens chapadas, cores artificiais, né? So cores... she said that many of us been living the virtual world in a massive way and a way to create something that she can touch with her own hands, the textures and the colors. It's something that helps her to develop that connection with the third uh, world dimension of colors in the real palette of colors in the uh, three-dimensional uh, relationship. So here she's representing Frida Kahlo, for those of you who, who likes. She also loves uh, the trajectory of Frida Kahlo and she wanted to build this up in her honor. Sim. So, Rochelle is saying, que forma criativa de combinar arte e natureza. Sim. E tem essa coisa da, da textura, né? Tipo, porque a gente desacostumou os olhos a prestar atenção nas texturas e tocar também, né? Muitas vezes a arte também é... Tipo, não se pode tocar na arte. Ah, so, yeah, she's saying that a way when she sells her embroideries, She's also valuing the textures, the, the, the opportunity to see the reliefs that the media offers you and the opportunity to touch and feel the sensations of the, 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 the ribbon or the material in the canvas. That she's showing the, the texture. And so she invites you to uh, have these experiences of contacting, of uh, living also real experiences where you can see the art, 
but also where you can make the art, né? Para que as pessoas possam também fazer. Uh-huh. And also uh, develop your creative minds through real life experiences on touching and feeling the art. Sim. E como que você... Uh, now I'm interviewing... I'm interviewing her. I have some questions which are important. I will convite the people to ask me questions. So please also feel free to take advantage of this opportunity to ask questions about the creative processes of Sofia. Because soon I will go back to Rio de Janeiro and we won't have the opportunity of showing her in, uh, stitching, sewing, which she will show a little bit now. And also we won't have the opportunity to be with her for quite a while. So you can purchase one of her works and you can ask questions. So is Sofia teaching other people? Você está ensinando algumas pessoas nesse momento? Ainda não, mas estou me preparando para dar aula. So thank you so much, Jen, for your question. Sofia, and that's why I was talking about the Federal University of Salvador. Let me see if I can put the a tripod here. And let me see to make it higher and I can put this like that so you can have free hands for a while all right so I mentioned about uh, the Federal University of Bahia and the people who comes from the interior of other parts of the country to study in the big cities, how the challenges they face, especially in a country uh, like Brazil as well. So Sofia, she comes from another state, the state of Espírito Santo. And you have a map here on Hego, uh, where you can see this, uh, that we are in the northeast of Brazil. She comes from the southeast and from the interior and later to, from the capital of Vitoria City. So she sees a, a, the opportunity of being here on a federal university. She's studying art now, preparing herself to study arts education, which is also my background. Eu sou também arte educadora. I'm also an arts educator. Uh, and in order to prepare herself to teach her art. And she's been now in this creative processes, learning many techniques. And um, actually, this technique she learned herself with other people also who inspired her. Sim, tem uma coisa que, tipo assim, eu não, eu não ensino bordado ainda, mas eu ensino as pessoas a, a lerem imagens, né? A perceberem essas, essas nuances, essa sutileza de que uma imagem gera emoções em nós. So she doesn't teach still, but she said that she's been teaching many people on how to read images and the subtle, subtleties that the reading of art will entails and also will capture of life and also motivate and uh, instigate in ourselves the the imagery world sim porque a maioria das imagens que a gente vê é, são imagens que a gente consome né não são imagens que a gente mesmo criou because the majority of this, the images we we'll see are images of uh, that we consume and not the images that we created. So uh, this, that's here, Sophia again, uh, she's saying the importance of ourselves, developing ourselves as creative beings ourselves, not only consumers of images, but uh, supporting local artists, learning with them, but also creating our own art. Sim. E uma das formas da gente prestar atenção nessas, nessas imagens que a gente quer criar é a gente prestar atenção nos nossos sonhos. Tanto os nossos sonhos de dormir, né? E os nossos sonhos enquanto aspirações. Ah, aquela arte lá, a gente pode fazer, é, falar sobre isso. Obrigada. She will get one of the artworks that she did, and I, I bought that artwork. Hey, Diane, thank you so much for joining again here. Ah, okay, I will let you know, Jen. Thank you, that's a great question. So um, I, I met Sophia uh, through my daughter. Before coming here, we did a FaceTime on, uh, on WhatsApp, 
And my daughter was talking to her. She's an old friend of my daughter from Vitória in Espírito Santo. And then my daughter introduced it to her. I said, my dream is to go to Salvador, Bahia. And uh, it's going to be great to, for you to meet Hannah. So we two is, will go there. And when I arrived here, she said, you came, that's great. So we are really excited. Estamos perguntando como é que a gente se conheceu. Ah, tá. And then she was talking about dreams. Here is the word sonhar. Sonhar means to dream. And she's talking about the importance of looking when we become and we are creative beings. So she used a lot of the inspiration of her dreams and she invites you to do the same. Are there anybody there who is sewing or is teaching at this time, at this moment? Because there's someone there who is now bordando. Because that's something that we also invited, right? If you had your uh, all the materials, you feel free to get your supplies. And while we have this conversation, you also can be inspired. So she says about the importance of dreaming. And when I got here, uh, I saw her works. I, before I got here, I followed her on Instagram and Ora Filo, Ora Sofia, which is, uh, well, O R A F I L O, O R A S O F I A. But in case you want to follow her on Instagram, Ora Filo, Ora Sofia. If you didn't understand, you can follow me on Instagram at Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S. Send me a message or on Facebook and I will share her Instagram. So you can purchase a work of Sofia or you can follow her and see other beautiful artworks that she made that she already sold and under others that she can make on the request. So here, this one I purchased uh, myself to give as a gift to a, a very good friend who really loves the works of artists and of women artists. And I will send, she will send this to my friend. And it's about dream, the dream, o sonho. So you see these creatures, this is a very uh, female, feminist work connected with nature, and it's written here, transcende, to uh, uh, be enlightened, to transcend, and the limit of culture. So the dream transcending the limits of culture. It's her motto. It's what she invites us to do. When we dream, when we live for our dream, and when we pay attention to the dreams we have and aspirations we have in life and the dreams we have while we sleep, we are able to transcend the limitations of culture, society, uh, economics, and anything. So dream, it's the greatest invite that Sophia brings in her art. So this one is mine. And, and it's mine but because I already gave it away to another friend of mine. So it's a great gift that I'm very happy to be able to support Sophia and to make my friend happy. And I invite you to do the same. Cynthia from New Hampshire in the U.S. and Sam from Bath, Bath and Bristol. Thank you for joining. Here we are with artist Sofia, who is my host in Salvador de Bahia, and he's sharing her alegria and artwork with us. So here's her happiness, alegria. Is this person here? Vem de uns ensinamentos de pessoas indígenas, né, nativos do Brasil, é, como a Ailton Fenac, a Kishane Taquá, o Moisés Pinhaco, que eles... Oh. So she's saying that, she's saying that this sentence and many of the phrases she uses in her artwork, they are, this one specifically is coming from Ailton Krenak, 
who is a philosopher, né? an indigenous an indigenous professor at the university and a philosopher who is very important. He's a writer, Ayuton Krenak. I can also send you this reference. And he brings this sentence to the world. So she reads many important readings of uh, women and philosophers, poets, and indigenous people, and she brings to her art to share with you. So here she is saying, each tree planted is, let me see, uh, is something that you help to heal the world. It's a, it's a healing process in the earth. So each plant you plant is a healing uh, process you create in earth. Você quer mostrar um pouquinho da sua técnica agora? Quero. Yeah. So now she will share a little bit of her technique, sewing one of the pieces, especially here for you. Here we are in Pernambuco. And soon we will introduce two special, uh, how can I say, it's not a uh, hosts who also live here with Sofia. So keep with us and you meet other, other individuals here around. Bom, então. Well, a gente dá um nozinho no final da linha. Uma, porta, uma parte está na agulha, né? Dá para ver a agulha? Não é não, agulha? Me, a agulha é mais difícil. É. Mas tem uma agulha aqui. There's a needle there. Aí uma parte da linha você enfia na cabeça da agulha. So she uh, puts one part of the... the uh, como é que se chama linha mesmo? How do you call linha? How do you so call this, the wire? You put one part of that, but you don't you leave the other side of the wire here free, and the other part, the thread, thread, a uh few. -huh. Thank you so much, Sam and Jan. And then you put a little knot at the end of the thread. Thank you so much for helping out with the vocabulary. Para aprender o tecido, no tecido, né? Senão ela sai. So, to uh, fix on this uh, fabric, otherwise it will go all the way through and you won't get your result. And how is that on the back? Would you also show that? She's, uh, pode mostrar o, o, a parte de trás também? Pode. So, here's how it is, the word sonhar, to dream, and the back part of it. She is, uh, she is now sewing a dream of her own and sharing that dream with you. Esse é o mesmo ponto que eu usei aqui nessa palavra. She is working with the same kind of uh, technique and knot that she used to make the word dream. Então, eu enfiei a agulha logo depois de onde eu tirei. So I'm going to show you a little bit closer. She's putting the, the needle there and she gets just observing there. E ela volta ela it saiu. goes back to where it actually entered. Let me see this. Tem uma pergunta aqui da Rochelle. Rochelle is asking a question directly from the Philippines. Então você tem uma, uma pessoa lá da Filipina. When did Sofia start this unique idea of combining art and nature? Quando que você pegou, é, capturou essa ideia de combinar a arte e a natureza no seu trabalho? Eu, é porque primeiro veio a paixão pela natureza e depois a paixão pelo bordado. So first is her passion of, for nature and later she uh, when she started doing her art, she thought that nature would be the best inspiration to her work. Porque para ensinar arte, a gente primeiro precisa é, incentivar a sensibilidade para depois ensinar uma técnica. So she said that to teach an art, first you need to instigate, motivate your own sensibility to then later 
after that, you will be able to share that instigation, that motivation with others, and then teach them the technique. So first you have your passion, you live that passion, and then you'll be able to share. Vou prender a linha aqui. Now she will give a nod to uh, to finish the that line on the on the thread and on the fabric. É só dar um nó depois. So then you give a knot there. So Diane is asking, uh, are you double thread and the knot or single thread knot? Ela perguntou se o seu fio ele tem é duplo é, na hora do do do, do nó ou se ele é single, se ele é um só? São, não sei se é essa pergunta, mas são três, são três linhas, né? É, yeah, so she's saying it's triple, Diane. Ela diz que é triplo. Mostra aí para ela. So, oh, here is the, the thread, mas, and it's triple. Mas o nó que eu dou no final é um nó só. But the knot she gives is just one knot to finish. Vou ensinar outro ponto, então. So, she this. will teach another knot. O bom do bordado é essa coisa das cores também, né? Que dá uma alegria de ver. So, she said that another thing that she loves about the embroidery is the colors that brings her joy and happiness. Joy, that's the word sonhar and Alegria, in Portuguese, alegria means joy. And the alegria that also the colors uh, bring to her life when she's creating. Even her dress also she's wearing represents that joy. Então, vou ensinar o ponto corrente. She will teach the uh, the technique called chain or corrente, the way we we call it in Brazil. The last knot. Aí por baixo do tecido. Under the 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 thread. Tá bom, she assim, enters. Tá. Passa a agulha por na frente enters the the thread and then move forward and stitch out aí entra lá na frente passa a agulha por baixo da linha mas sem oh. pegar no tecido so then you pass the needle under that that knot that knot no that line but without getting the thread Hi, Raul. Thanks for joining. We are learning how to sew with Sofia and learning about her art making, embroidery art making. E volta no mesmo lugar. And then you enter the same place. Here we are with artist Sofia. From, you can follow and find her and more works in the Instagram, Ora Filo, Ora Sofia. It's like either Philo or either Sophie. It's like Philosophy. Philosophia is the, the way that she plays with the words. And she plays with colors, threads. She's a brave girl. She is 22 years old. She came from the interior of the Espírito Santo and from Vitoria City to establish her life for a while in a big city of Salvador. She is living here in the peripheries of Salvador to, to acquire her degree on the graduation to be an art educator in Brazil and artist while she sells her work of art. My name is Kelly Tavares. I'm a tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, traveling in Bahia and supporting the work of local artists through sharing what they do. Hi, Janice. Thanks for joining. Please uh, feel free to also support Sofia on her work. If you want to support a student who is here in Salvador to make her art in a world which 
wants us to live like crazies, running away all the time, creating massive, massive works all the time. Artists are very important to remind us that we need to remember to live our dreams through the art they create, through the lifestyle they, they live, and through the way they position themselves in the world. So this is the chain, uh, the chain knots, and look at the difference between one technique and the other. This is very beautiful, Sofia. Muito bonito. E tem uma coisa do bordado que é importante dizer que é o tempo que a gente gasta para fazer isso. So there is a time uh, of the embroidery technique that require, is required in order to make an artwork uh, using this technique, such as these, for example, that she made. And that time is something important itself that she would like to, to, to share. Tem uma pergunta aqui. If uh, are her mother and grandmother's aunties doing embroidery also, also? Sua sua mãe, suas avós faziam bordado também? Sim, minha avó fazia bordado. She said yes, her uh, grandmother was uh, an embroidery artist. Mas era uma época em que o bordado ele não ele não era não era vendido, né? Não era usado como uma renda, então as mulheres but it was a time in the past when the women that it wasn't used they had all um, a lot of time to take care of the house of the the children of the family of the husband but in the time of her grandmother the women many women here in brazil did not went out to make a living out of the embroidery art they did these to make their own pieces like uh to uh, like to let's say to create gifts to give to their family members to create their own uh, clothing to embroider to give as gifts or to decorate their houses and so on so it was another time now embroidery art the time it requires to create one of these pieces such as this beautiful one uh, and uh, she does free free work of art, free rendi, hand hand make, right? And this requires a big time itself. In order to make a living out of this art is a challenge, is a way of resistance. So how can women position themselves in the world, creating embroidery in a world that we will more and more require them? to have like three shifts of work, uh, working outside, and then how will they manage these challenges and still keep the art of embroidery alive in society when they are pressured and pushed to go out more and more in order to make a living for her survival with other means. Thank you, Jen. Beck's teaching and chain, Chain's teaching. Ela falou que o nome desses pontos, pontos são Beck's teaching and ah. Chain's teaching. Sim, cada país tem uma cultura, né? Reflete a cultura, o bordado. So, it, and this, she says the importance of each country reflecting the culture of each place in the world. Here she is bringing a beautiful representation Essas são as bandeirinhas de São João, né? Você faz junina aqui? Não, essas bandeirinhas são do budismo tibetano. Ah, ok. She's representing here the flags of the Tibet, Tibetan, Tibetano Buddhism. I don't know how to say that in, in English. Okay. Tibetan uh, Buddhism, which is also a practitioner. And here she's representing... Quem que está representada aqui? Buda? Não. Isso é um sonho, né? De uma It's pessoa. a dream. It's a person's dream. Tipo, é uma encomenda de bordado. Então, uma pessoa me diz uma, a imagem que, do sonho que ela quer 
Oh, uh, nice. So she said that the ah, uh, she, she said that this piece itself is a representation of a, a person's dream. One uh, of her clients, inspired by her work, like I am herself, myself, a fan of her work, uh, she requests that this person shares their dream. So if you have a dream uh, that you dreamt about or uh, that you wanted to become true, so she received this order, uh, which is a person from Tibetan Buddhism practice. So this is an oak tree. Ah, nice. So the person who commissioned this work for her, her uh, last name is Oak or Carvalho. So they, she did a Carvalho tree. So this is the, the earth, uh, the blood on earth to represent So the person commissioned an oak tree to represent their name, the family name with the blood, the 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 blood of uh, like the family members who were of her own blood and the tree and branches representing the part of the family of her family which are not from blood family but which are also considered family themselves and the tibetan buddhist prayer flags thank you so much jen for helping out She's, it's a work which is in process. She hasn't finished yet. So this is a guara bird and a hummingbird. Guara bird and hummingbird. Guara is como um flamingo, né? É. Ah, ha. E a Mona é um era para ser Mona Lisa, né? Ah, ha. E porque Mona Lisa é o nome que a família biológica deu para essa pessoa, né? Hoje ela tem outro nome. Uh, so her bio, the biologic name of the person who commissioned this art piece was is Mona Lisa. So that's why she represented her here. So she says that the person who commissioned is inspired by this work because now she lives better due to meditation, that now she lives meditation every day. So it means refloresce-se, means to uh, make a reforestation of yourself again. So how are you? Are you in India now? Tem uma pessoa da Índia aqui. Wow. And uh, I will show you a little bit of the. Quem é que está representado aqui? Esse é o Mingyo Rinpoche. Mingyo Rinpoche. Mingyo. Mingyo Rinpoche. Tibetan. Uh, monk. Ah, uh, Raul is in India. So Raul and also Sofia has here Ganesha represented. Cadê o nosso ilustre hóspede que a gente vai apresentar no final? And the place where herself and her husband meditates. One of the places where they meditate. Paulo, her husband, is a meditation instructor here in Salvador. And he also came to Salvador in order to teach meditation and also learn meditation. Now, we would like, we are getting to the end of our tour. And I'd like to introduce you to uh, secret guests that we uh expecting this moment to introduce you he was sleeping but now here he is zoro her mother his mother wake him up to introduce you to him here at the end of our tour here is zoro And Zorro wanted to say goodbye to you all. <laughs> He's a very nice, lovely cat. And it's a, an inspiration and a partner to 
works of Sofia and Paolo as well. He's very well treated as a member of the family. And now it's time to say goodbye. So, senta aqui do lado. Hey, Cecilia, we are just, we were here just with Sofia, showing her artwork, sharing her uh, life model. Please follow us on social media at Rio Encantos and at Ora Filo, Ora Sofia on Instagram and also myself at Rio Encantos on Facebook. I am Kelly Tavares and we were with Sofia Buais. <laughs> Thank you so much for being present. If you want to uh, commission or have a piece of Sofia, just send me a, a note, a message, and I will co help to contact her, and she can send you all the way through your country, where you are, one commission piece, okay? The house is a nest, and here we are in her nest. Thank you so much. Uh, and just to remember you that today all the provisions you uh, you donate to support a local artist and a student here in the big city will be directed to my host and artist Sofia Boaz. Jen is saying, thank you for sharing your work. Muito obrigada por compartilhar o seu trabalho. Good luck with studies and stitching. Boa sorte com os estudos e com embroidery. Com os bordados. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for being present. Jen, Rochelle, Diane, Raul, Cecile, for being all the way through until the end. Today we were going to walk on the garden, but the rain uh, stopped us. But even though we were able to show you some of the techniques. See you on the next tour. I will... Uh, continue with the arts series and I will show you artists in Salvador and also in Rio de Janeiro. Thank you, Raul. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Can you take this one? Yes. Okay. I'm going to finish.